What does all of this mean? Ask Ryan. Ask Ryan. Ask Ryan. Ask Ryan. Hello, I'm Ryan Raffles. And I'm Johnny. <laughs> and here we are. Welcome. So this is Ask Ryan. Over these past few days, I've asked you to submit your questions, and <laughs> boy did you ever. Boy did you ever. So we're going to start with the more, like, normal ones, I suppose. I guess. And <laughs> yeah. And I know this is called Ask Ryan, but we have Johnny here for extra commentary, because how can you ask Ryan when you're not asking Johnny too? You can't. You just can't. Okay, so for our first question... <laughs> Um, I want to point out also that you guys did a wonderful job of texting the number, <laughs> like I said. I'm like, yeah, text this number, and the majority of our questions came from social media platforms and not from text. But, you know, I had to include them anyway, because that's what we have to do. <laughs> All the hard work that I put in for you people, that's, that's my love right there. Alright, so the first question... <laughs> Reads, why am I so fat when I really don't eat a lot? Well, I don't know. <laughs> First of all, I can say you're probably not fat. There's a very good chance that, you know, probably some sort of like past conditioning or something that's probably causing you to believe that you're worse off than you are. You should really love yourself because chances are I love you. Self-love is a wonderful thing. And you know when you love yourself, everything else will fall into place. How does that grab you? <laughs> Alright, on to our next question. <laughs> our next question reads, <clears throat> Is mayonnaise an instrument? And the uh, real simple answer I have there is, uh, <clears throat> No, Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. <laughs> Horseradish isn't an instrument either. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Do you have any input there? <laughs> no, I think you got it. I, I did get it. All right, our next question. Now, this one pertains to our favorite business partner in crime, and that is Son of a Witch and Sebastian. Wonderful store. Go in there. Check it out. Buy things. Please do. <laughs> nice people in there. Wonderful people. My other family. <laughs> and this question is, why are the witches at Son of a Witch always on witchy time? Um, well, what can I say? Um, you know, I would be lying if I told you that I wasn't on my own time, like, my entire life, going places. And you know something else is that time is not even real. Time is a human-made construct. So, like... Really, daylight savings? You should have just set your clocks on fire because it's non-existent. There is no time here or anywhere. It's all in your head. That sounds like an excuse for not being on time, Ryan. <laughs> There's no time to be on, man. Uh-huh. Listen, man. You say you're like, you're going to do something tomorrow, you know? You're like, oh, what about all this stuff that happened yesterday? Oh, I'm gonna, like, do this stuff tomorrow, you know? Well, you know, you really come to find out that tomorrow never happens, man. You ever, like, wake up in the morning and you're like, Oh, it's tomorrow. No, it's not tomorrow. It's today. Because time isn't real, man. It's all the same day. It is all the same day. Listen, man. If you've got a cat, okay? So you want a cat. <laughs> and you want it for a year, right? But you can only have it for one day. Are you going to spend that one day thinking, what about all these other 364 days? This is awful. Like, no, man. If you have that cat for one day, that day better be your life, man. Because time isn't real. Set your clocks on fire. Down with the patriarchy. <laughs> Amen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this next totally unbiased question Reads, why are your parents so cool? Now, I couldn't imagine who this could possibly be from, as none of you people have ever met my parents before in these videos. So, um, I don't know, but the short answer is, um, jeans. 
genetics. You know, obviously, there's some good ones. What can I say? Why are your parents so cool? <laughs> Put me on the spot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> cool. Well, you know, <laughs> I have to say, me and Johnny, we had to bring a bed frame across town. And I wouldn't have been able to do it if his cool father didn't have some, uh, I can't even think of what it's called. The, the, the weed whacker. Yeah. Thing. That stuff that goes in your weed eater. The, the nylon. Yeah. He string. had some of that. And let me tell you, it was a little scary on the ride over, but it got the job done. It got the job done. Yeah. If it wasn't for poodles, I, I don't know. That's... Us two Eagle Scouts, man, we wouldn't we wouldn't have managed. No, <laughs> we wouldn't have figured it out. No, <laughs> yeah. And uh, his mom buys some pretty cool coconut macaroons that I totally would have no way of knowing about. I just happen to know these things. <laughs> They're pretty tasty. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, on to the next one. This was our first texted in question, and it reads, "Why is life NES hard right now?" Now, I'm pretty lame, so I had to look up what that meant. <laughs> and apparently, that is a phrase that uh, is used uh, in the gaming community, I guess, when something is, like, very difficult. It's like, you know, the NES. Apparently, those things were, like, hard, I guess. I don't know. I'm young-ish, so. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Um, well, what can I say? Life... <laughs> Life is a never-ending show, my friend. <laughs> you know? Um, and what can I say? You just gotta take it one level at a time. You know? Today might be super difficult, but tomorrow... Well, I'm gonna contradict myself because tomorrow never happens. But I can say that it does get easier. And then sometimes it gets hard again. But you know, you gotta keep your head up for those good times. Because they exist. They do exist. There is beauty in small places. Everywhere. Don't go around looking for grand uh, methods or like big uh, words, you know? <laughs> like big, uh, big sources of happiness. Because in everything, I bet you if you try hard enough, there is something special that can really put a big old grin on your face. What about you, John? <laughs> um, words. Me too. <laughs> Don't stop dancing. Don't stop dancing until the curtains fall. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> Alright, so our next question, <laughs> which is totally not a Foo Fighters reference, says, what if I say I'm not like the others? To which I would reply, um, I'm not another one of your plays. You're the pretender, and I will never surrender. Okay, our next question <laughs> reads, what is beauty? And I'm guessing that is along the lines of what is love, so I would say don't hurt me, first of all. <laughs> um, but you know, beauty is something that's very subjective. And going along with what I said about life, I believe you can find beauty in just about everything. Even if you like, you're going outside and, uh, I don't know, <laughs> you see like a little mound of sand or something, right? And you're like, this mound of sand is ugly as hell, right? And you look at it and you're right. like, it's absolutely hideous, right? Right. So you take your foot and you just you kick it. You kick that ugly mound of sand. But then underneath is the most beautiful rock you have seen in your life. Your whole life. So you know, sometimes, sometimes the really nice, pretty beautiful things can be just out of sight, but they're there. And I don't think that really answered the question, <laughs> but I would say that beauty is very subjective. And you know, somebody else could come along and see that pile of sand and say, 
That is the prettiest mound of dirt I have seen in my whole existence. And I think that is beauty. Would you agree? <laughs> I would agree, yes. He agrees. Alright, our next question. What are your favorite artists? So I don't know what kind of artists we're talking about here. Um, if we're talking about, like, you know, art you see with your eyes, I can't really name any artists. Um... I don't know. Do you have any favorite artists? <laughs> I can think of plenty of music artists. Music, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, well... <laughs> so what are they? I don't know. Oh, for me? My for favorite you, artist? Yeah, yes. Okay, yeah. I thought we were talking about what are artists. I'm like, you know, that's very subjective. It's like beauty. <laughs> <laughs> what is art? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway... Um, yeah, I mean, if we're talking about music, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, got some 311 on my list. There's the Foo Fighters. There's, I love me some Chris Cornell, Janis Joplin. Um, and I'm just looking at the pictures that I have on the back wall that you can't see. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like Fleetwood Mac a lot. Been into Supertramp lately. There are lots of good artists out there. What are your favorite artists? <laughs> My favorite artist. Yeah. Well, I got my boy Juice World. Uh, Lil Pete. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, God. It's just, it's so hard to, like, make a list. Yeah. Of, like, everybody you listen to. You think it'd be easy because you just listen to the same songs over and over again every day anyway. I do. <laughs> Guilty. But, you know, it's just. Yeah. I don't know. I love me some Shine Down, B 52s. Hell yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Next question is What will you name your children? Well, I will start this off with a fun little tidbit that back in the day, um, I was very into Marilyn Monroe, so I always said that. Oh, he was very into Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. <laughs> we can address that another time. <laughs> <laughs> So I said if I had a daughter, I would name her Marilyn. And um, I had this substitute teacher once, and his name was Cormac. And I don't want to say the rest of his name. Not that I can remember it anyway, because... <laughs> Imagine if he sees this. Like, that would be really weird. But anyway, I was like, Cormac, that's pretty a rad name. It's unique, it's different. So I was going to use that name. Uh, I don't think that longer stands. <laughs> um... I don't know. I think uh, if I have a daughter, I was thinking there's a Shinedown song and album called Amaryllis, also a flower, but a very gorgeous, beautiful song. And um, that could be a good daughter's name, I think. A son? I don't know. He's just going to have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think of any kids' names? Yeah, I've had some ideas over the years, but... Ultimately, it'll have to come down to me and the lady friend and whatever, you know, the future lady friend decide, whatever we decide together. Yeah. I did discuss Amaryllis with my girlfriend, I swear. She also likes Shine Down. I promise. <laughs> um, and our very last question of the day is, what do you want from me? Well, Johnny, what do you want from me? <laughs> I don't know, just just to be my bro. Man, <laughs> you got it, bro. Oh. And you know what I want from you people? It's on the floor, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to buy one of these epic, amazing $4 RyanRaffles.com stickers. <laughs> you can go ahead and, like, I don't know, leave a comment. Go on the website, use the contact us form. They're great fans. And buy your sticker. And put it on stuff. <laughs> and rep that stuff. You know? Put it on your daughter's forehead. Yeah. Put it on your cat. <laughs> put it on your cat. Put After it. you lint roll them so that it sticks better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but no, what do I really want from you guys? You already give me so much love and adoration. 
what more could I really ask for? <laughs> Money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you know what I could ask? Send this to your friends. Send it to your enemies. Send it to your grandma. I'm very popular with grandmas. Yeah, I don't know. Spread riot all over the land. That's what that's what has to happen, really. <laughs> um, yeah, and I hope this was, you know, semi-interesting and engaging for you. Uh I think it was pretty nice myself. And, you know, if you want to send in more questions, that was 772-783-2309. And whenever I have enough questions for another video, I'll make another video. And in the meantime, we got a lot more fun stuff coming up for you. You may have heard in our studio tour video, our sponsorship from Continental Foods. <laughs> coming soon. Coming very soon. I won't tell you any more, I promise. <laughs> and we've got some friends coming over to film this week, and there's just a lot of uh, a lot of fun things in the works for you. My brain's been going brr, you know. It's been uh, it's been good. It's been going brat brat. <laughs> it's been going pop pop pop, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, until next time. Thank you for your questions. Send me more questions. We love you, and I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs>